As a professional photographer, I've taken a lot of different kinds of photos, and I'm gonna share with you how you can find the style that best suits you, ways to make your photography style stand out from the sea of other similar styles that are out there, and whether or not you should just stick to one style forever. But before we figure out what our style is going to be, we need to know what a style actually is to make sure that we're focusing on the right things. A style is the characteristics of a person's photos that make up their body of work. These characteristics are what give your photos a signature look in your portfolio. But maybe you don't have a style or you don't know if you have a style. So let's talk about how we can find your unique style. I used to think style was all about how you edit your photos. And when I started, I was heavily influenced by guys like Peter McKinnon and Brandon Wolfel. I'd go out and take photos and then edit them and try to make them look as good as theirs did. But I soon realized that there was a lot more that was going into the photos they were taking. Inspiration is very important. So keep looking at the photos that inspire you, but instead of copying or completely ripping them off, make note of the things that you like most about those photos. That way you can start to better understand your taste and you can start taking photos of the things that you actually like to take pictures of. When you focus on capturing the things that you like and honing your editing skills, you'll begin to develop a consistent look that's unique to you. There's also a free guide down in the description that you can swipe to help you figure out what your personal taste is. There's a lot of good photographers out there, but your style can still stand out. And let me tell you how. I was listening to a guy the other day talk about how he loves photography and couldn't care less about how much money it's made him. And for me, I used to get so caught up in building my portfolio and getting clients that I completely lost sight of like the root of what photography is. The biggest photographers nowadays are all doing the same thing. They're focusing more on authenticity and showcasing their unique perspectives by capturing and telling stories that mean something to them. And they're consistently delivering high quality work that's building their personal brand. Now, if it's so important to be consistent in order to have a style that stands out, does that mean that I have to stick to one style forever? I've always thought that if you niche down and focus on what you like doing most, you will eventually become a subject matter expert in that field. But we're all human, and that means eventually we're probably going to get bored. As we grow up, our perspectives and our taste changes. And in order to remain authentic, I think it's natural that your style slightly changes. But it doesn't have to change for everyone because the benefits of specializing in a particular style is that it can help establish a recognizable identity. But none of these things will work for you if you don't know how to build a portfolio. So watch this video next and I'll see you there.